Hi, my name is Andrew Gulick. And my name is Roman Rösli and we got a oh. uh, European champion in Blade. To be honest, Andrin is like one of the f funniest guy uh, I've ever met and I really enjoy being together with him, training with him. Uh, it's always a pleasure to, uh, yeah, to spend time with him because it's just funny. He's making a joke like literally every minute. <laughs> We always have a lot of fun in training and racing. I think that's the most important thing, and, and he's really, the, he's really the man for it. Um, Rowing-wise, he's a he's a really hard worker, uh, but uh, that's what that's what got him here, uh, where he is not now. So, but um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun to work with him and row with him. In terms of rowing, Andrin is like really talented. Um, he has a great boat feeling. Um, and he's like really powerful. And we kind of speak the same language in terms of technique, tactics, rowing itself. I think one, one thing we have in common though, we're trying to, to get rid of that, that boat feeling. We're always looking for that and he definitely has it because he's been, what, for the last more or less 10 years, he's been the fastest single scholar in Switzerland. So, um, so I can still work a bit on that. So I'm not, I'm not as quick as him in the single yet. Uh, maybe on the rig a bit quicker, but at the end of the day, it counts on the water. So you could get a better single. <laughs> that would be a yeah, beginning. We can start there. I'm rowing in a really old single, but it's nice. It's nice. It's retro style. I call it retro style. Being with him in the boat, it gives gives a lot of trust. Having him behind me, uh, and now uh, wherever you are in this, like in any kind of situation in the race, he's he's going to give it all to to put that band front. Um, so yeah, he's he's a real racer and never gives up. I think he, he takes almost all of the boxes uh, a good rower has to, has to have. Always well, being very nice at the moment, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> in September, winter training started, so we're all in single, uh, pairs, area, whatever. Uh, we did all that work over, over the winter. Um, and then came trials in, in March, uh, and, and we tried loads of different boats. <laughs> uh, from sculling uh, to sweeping, bigger, smaller boats. And, and the pair had uh, showed some real potential uh, and we were both happy to, to try it out uh, and go for it and um, then uh, we went to Zagreb uh, six weeks ago and we had, a, we had a good race so stepped up from there. What are some of the sub challenges that you face nonetheless? Oh, I've got a good one, sorry, I don't want to talk. <laughs> the training is longer so you have to do the same mileage as an eight. But in Paris, it takes long. Well, but your second name is Miles. So <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't matter at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I went to Oxford, um, did uh, my master's course in water uh, science policy management, um, which I really enjoyed. Um, it was really cool. And But we still could uh, keep rowing, um, do the aid at the boat race, which was also like an awesome experience. It was really useful to me because after that I came back and I was like fully motivated um, to, to attack again. So I, I was rowing in Switzerland for, for junior, on junior level, uh, but then I decided to go to the States, to, to Yale, to continue my education and rowing career, as to say. Um, my main decision to go over there was just to, to combine, I think as everyone does who goes to America, to combine academics and, and rowing on, on the highest level possible at that age group. It was a really fun group and uh, sometimes those like rowing events, World Cups and European Champions, they feel a bit like a real Yale reunion. So it's really cool to see, to see uh, the friends that I made there at, at college, uh, to see them from, from other countries, yeah. I'd say it's like a, a symbiosis. Um, like I always use training as a break from studying and the other way around. Um, that's one point. And the other point is also, I think you don't get too focused on just one thing in your life. So it keeps your mind a bit open um, regarding other things and other topics, which is really helpful, especially when you and you're like a professional athlete. Especially for the rowing, it's really good like having that time off and you don't have you don't have the time to think about rowing all the time because as, as many rowers know, the, the better the boat goes, the less you think about it, the, the simpler you make it. So it's, it's good not having the time uh, to really to go into much, into too much detail. From my point of view, I think it's, it's very important that you 
stay open-minded, um, always open for critique. He's a, he's a bit younger than me um, and I'm already for a long time in drawing. So um, he helps me to, to stay uh, open-minded, to stay chilled, relaxed, uh, don't get too focused on, on, on the thing. Um, keep it loose exactly he's talking now listening <laughs> <laughs> i have to turn around a lot so, because i mumble a bit <laughs> and i can't hear that well <laughs> so if i have to say something i have to turn around and shout but the most important thing is that like having open communication and and, and sharing both positive and negative things uh while knowing that we have a common goal of making the boat fast so it doesn't matter if it's criticism or, or, or positive things at the end we want to be Get to, the, yeah. get to the same position.